Today, we're gonna to be installing a Salica Super Ren into my A8611 hatchback uh, restoration and resto mod project. The other day I got a big package from Just Engineering with some suspension stuff I needed, which also included some stuff I need to be able to put this axle in the car. Putting a Celica Super Axle in an 86 is actually really, really straightforward. There's pretty much two things that you need, and one of them is you need new spring purchase. So the Celica Super Axle, uh, it uses a different size spring than what the A86 does. So if you're gonna use the traditional spring off sh uh, shock, like what the A86 comes with, you'll need to weld on some new spring purchases. The other thing that you'll need is the conversion four links and pan hard bar setup. That's what I got from Just Engineering. The Celica Super four link swap kit includes upper and lower four links as well as a pan hard bar. And the main difference for uh, between like the regular A86 four links and the Celica Super is the Celica Super uses a larger bolt on the axle. It's a 14 millimeter bolt versus on the car, it's a 12 millimeter. The mounts are positioned a little differently on the axle, including the pan hard bar. So the pan hard bar is also a different diameter. And that's why we've got this guy, and it's a little bit different position. So that's awesome. Uh, so this this is everything you need, plus the other two, which are already on the axle. But I love the Just Engineering four links because they offset the adjustment down here. So on a lot of them, you've got one heim on either side that has an adjustment. But with the Just Engineering ones, all the adjustment is on one side, and this is the adjuster right here. So as you're adjusting it on the car, you're able to spin it out and spin it in and still have access to the lock nuts, because that was one of the problems on some of the other ones is everything is like inside of the mount on the car. So you have to like remove it, spin it out, put it back into the car and bolt it in. This, this makes it a lot easier to service. It's, it's a really nice, sweet setup here. The nuts themselves are smaller, so you can actually get a wrench on them when they're on the car. Everything is a little bit smaller on these compared to parts offered by other companies. This is because it's all chromoly. The adjusters are forged chromoly, the top broad ends are chromoly, the tubes are chromoly. Chromoly is stronger, so it can be a bit smaller and still have the right amount of strength. So the first thing that we're going to do before we actually put this in the car is we're going to take a lot of the stuff off of it, clean it up. Here we can see the new spring purchase. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in the diameter of the springs. So we're gonna get these welded on, replace some brake lines, put some new hardware on here, and then pretty much put it in the car and see if the diff is good uh, before we take it all back apart to replace bearings, replace axle bearings, all that stuff. In a perfect situation, I would send this axle off to powder coating and everything before we do all that. But with where I'm at with the timeline of this car, I actually need to get at least running and driving sooner and then Afterwards, I'll have more time to actually send stuff off to powder coating. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need to replace any brake lines on this. I do have stuff I can make new hard lines, but pretty much if the hard lines are good, there's no reason to replace them. And I'll be getting some new stainless steel braided lines to replace these old rubber lines. I know that I at least need to take these off to inspect them because this looks like it's got a bit of a ding in it. So I need to make sure that that's not actually leaking because otherwise I'll at least have to replace this, this hard line. Maybe not all of them, but at least that one. With this being like a 40 year old Raxl, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how good the, the hardware is. Um, so I figured I'll soak it, it all in a little bit of uh, PV blast or some penetrating fluid to see if it'll help break up some of the rust here. Like this, this is what I'm most worried about is getting these hard lines off and we'll see, we'll see how bad it is. Oh. Man, those came right free, no problem. That's actually really, really good and relieving that I can undo these without having to worry. Ah, crap. I spoke too soon. That brake line broke, so I guess we're gonna have to replace hard lines too, which I really didn't wanna have to do, but... Oh well, okay. Right, all the brakes are off, so now we're gonna chop off the spring perches. Okay, those are chopped off. We're gonna clean it up a little bit, then we'll clean up all the rust and get ready for paint.
Okay, getting ready to weld the spring perches on. This is an SR fiber axle. This is the Celica Super axle. Now, if I've measured everything right here, it is approximately 18 and 3 eighths. Is that 18 and a half? Yeah, so it's like 18 and a half from spring perch to center of axle. So I guess when we set this on here, like when it's all the way in right here, like that, see all the way in against that, it's 18 and a half. So at least we know at this point, you weld it in just a little bit further inboard because the stock one was like right here. You're gonna shift it over just a little bit and that should get this side set. I do have an angle finder on here to make sure I'm at the right angle. Now we're gonna tack it in place and, and take a look. Welded on. Axel has the new spring perches welded on. A couple things taped up. I think we are, uh, I think we're ready to paint it. I just don't know if this is the right spot on the side of my house or not. <laughs> this isn't perfect. Ideally, I should be able to sandblast this because there's a lot, a lot of pitting and stuff, but this is as good as I can get it with hand tools and we're just gonna go ahead and spray it now. Because I broke some of the brake lines, or they broke because they were seized when they were coming off, um, we're going to go ahead and make some new hard lines. What I'm using here is a, a copper nickel brake line. I like these because it, they're easily malleable or, or they're easy to bend. I already started working on it, so I've got one of the, I've got one of the fittings on here, and I've done a couple of bends to try and mimic uh, the stock line. It's actually really hard to do some of these bends without like the OEM tooling. I'm using some pretty basic hand tools. I don't have like a bunch of fancy brake line tools, but this, this guy, and then uh, maybe, maybe this guy if I need it. I think this will, this will do me just fine for this because of how easy these brake lines are to bend. It's a pretty simple process. Pretty much all you do is you line it up with a stock brake line and then you just go to town and match it up and bend it and follow along. I've got the brake lines all bent. They're all, they should be pretty close. Uh, it's always really hard to try and trace them exactly. So I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the axle. Then I'll kind of get them mocked up, see where I still need to tweak things, change things, shorten it, whatever. Um, I left them long on this side. So that way I can get all of the bends in place and then I'll then put the fittings on this side and, and chop them down. I had originally planned to reuse the Celica Super Ax, uh, the Celica Supra calipers. The rotor is actually larger than an AE86 rotor, but the problem I've ran into is they're really weird to like take apart. So like this piece actually goes in, uh, it sits in right here. So instead of having the caliper bolt to the caliper bracket, you've got these pieces that you have to hammer in and out. So serving is, servicing it isn't really that great. There's not as many options for performance brake pads. Um, these calipers actually need to rebuild because I can see the boot is torn here. So I, I could do all that. I could rebuild the calipers and put them back on, but I've opted to just use GTS calipers. Using the GTS calipers is actually really simple. Um, you get the backing plate for a GTS rear axle, or you get like the dual caliper brackets for a GTS rear axle, and that allows you to bolt the, um, the caliper onto that, and that backing plate bolts onto the Celica Super Axle, no problem. It uses the same bolt pattern behind the axle shaft. So you pull the axle shaft, you put the, the mounting bracket back there, um, then you bolt on your caliper bracket and your caliper. The only downside to this is the Celica Supra Cal, uh, the Celica Super rotors are larger. So larger rotors means better heat dissipation, but at the same time, you don't have the same kind of support for 
performance rotors or performance pads and the Celica Supra calipers are pretty much unobtainable at this point. So you have to rebuild them and, and trust that you're, you have a good one to rebuild. Whereas the A86 rear calipers are now a part of like the, the Toyota Heritage program. So you can still buy those brand new now. So it's a little give and take on that. But I don't have the backing plates yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and toss the rear axle in the car and we'll, uh, we'll worry about getting the rear brakes on later. All right, I fitted up the brake lines. Um, you can see there, it was really hard. There's a couple spots where I didn't quite get the bends just perfect, but it fits and that's the main thing. I've got my new hard lines. I've got new hardware from Flows, and then I, I kind of put the, uh, the upper four links on here just so I could see how they fit up. Now we're going to go ahead and get this installed in the car. All right, there we go. There's the Just Engineering four links bolted up to the rear axle. That was easy peasy. Now we've got to bolt up the shocks, but first I wanted to show you all something. If you're wondering what I use to jack it up, I use this, which is just a, a Harbor Freight trans jack. I like using transmission jacks to put rear ends in because, especially on the ground, because uh, the base is a little bit wider and it's got a groove in the middle compared to using like a regular jack. So I made it really easy. And then to go up and down, use a half inch drive impact or a ratchet and it goes up and down easy. So there's that. Now I guess we'll bolt up the shocks, which are definitely, definitely blown, but at least we'll get it up there. And then I do have new brake cables for this, but that's, you know, that, those are the brake cables for the calipers. There we go. There's the Just Engineering four links and pan hard bar for the Salica Super rear end. Uh, I still have to adjust the pan hard bar a bit. That needs to be done kind of once it's set on the ground, so don't mind the adjustment there. I also have some other hardware I still got to put back in, but because I'm still in the process of doing things on here, I haven't tightened down all the hardware yet, so let's. You know, that's just, you know, leave it what it is. Oh, remember what I, was, what I was talking about? What I was talking about earlier about the adjustment is on some of these uh, four links, the adjustment is way in here, right? So you can't ever really lock it down tight. Um, whereas this has the adjustment further in. So it makes it really easy to spin it and adjust the length. It's the same thing with the uppers. Puts it in a really good spot here to be able to adjust those. Yeah. Sweet. Selka Super Axle is in. Right, there we go. Selka Super Axle is in. Uh, unfortunately, the car's still in hovercraft mode. I got a couple of things I need to do, like brakes, and I don't know, I might end up changing some of the suspension bits. I guess the other part of doing the Celica Super End Swap is you need to set your pinion angle and all that stuff, but I want to make sure I've got all of my suspension kind of where it's going to be at, ride height wise and everything, and then I'll put the drive shaft in and then check pinion angles and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're moving right along. I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah.